Hey everybody, welcome back to Trial and Error in the world's ugliest bathroom. Time to gut this pig and uh, start fresh. As it turns out, this is a cast iron tub, which sucks. Uh, unfortunately, it's not gonna work with the layout that we have, so it's gotta go. And there is no way we're gonna be able to lift this thing as one piece. It, I can't imagine how much this thing weighs, but it is solid cast iron and coated with some sort of porcelain. It's a heavy, she's a heavy girl. So I'm gonna at least cut it in half, which is a horrific pain in the ass because it is thick steel, using an angle grinder, metal cutting blades on there, and chop it right down. Um, I'll show you a little bit here. That's kind of where we're at. Um, but yeah, we'll get that out of the way. And uh, to give you a better idea of what we're working with here space-wise, I'm gonna take you back out this way. So we've got this wall, and this wall is gonna disappear. And we're gonna, actually that's about where the door will be. But we're gonna open this all up that we can expand it, uh, put in a jacuzzi tub and a much lar larger walk-in shower. And uh, I think that's gonna look really nice. Over uh, around here, just bear with me. Little closet full of crap. But we do have this little crawl space area back there to work with, which is gonna be really handy. So what I found that works best, I've got all kinds of plumbing here. There's two feed lines coming up so that you can turn on the sink or flush the toilet while somebody's in the shower and they don't get burned. Um, but what I'm gonna end up doing is taking all of those feeds and I'm gonna cap them off. When I say cap them, I'm gonna put valves on them because not all of those feeds have valves up here. Some of them are in the basement. Um, so I'll take all the feeds coming up, we'll put valves on them, which will make it nice and convenient to, to shut them off in the future if needed and do the same thing with the electrical. The main electrical fees coming into the bathroom, we're gonna chop that right off as well and just start fresh with everything. So I've done a few rooms like this that uh, get total revamps and I've found it much easier just to go about it that way. Cut everything off, take your fresh feeds for everything, plumbing um, and uh, sewer lines, all of that stuff. And we're just gonna start from scratch always fun to see what other knuckleheads have done in the past and this is not what you do when a floor joist is in the way of your plumbing un friggin believable well we'll fix that up and uh took out that small section of wall here already feels a lot bigger with a bathroom this small any little difference to square footage makes a huge difference to the feel and going to be adding about 20 square feet to this bathroom which really will feel uh, like a whole different space construction I've got a very unique house and this the roof what you see here which is you know the finished portion of the roof inside the house this is actually also the structure so this shiplap style look to it is actually about an inch and three quarters thick if you can believe it or not it's really meaty stuff and this provides the actual structure of the roof now obviously this can only go so far as far as a span goes so throughout the house there is some sort of bracing that supports it so i, I utilized some sophisticated measuring tools and determined exactly how much of this I can remove and how far of a span we can go before we're really asking a bit too much from the roofing material. And from there, I have gone and hacked out what used to support this section of wall. I've hacked out as much as I'm comfortable removing to give myself the access that I need to have to build a new wall here, which is gonna be back a little bit. We aren't gonna have this funky mirror setup that we had before because frankly it was useless. And secondly, structurally, it's not a good idea. There is nothing, if they were doing this right, this should have been back brace supported, something across tie that in to keep this from wanting to bow out. And obviously they didn't do that. And to their credit, nothing's gone wrong, but it's just not a great idea. It's, you're no longer providing strength when you put an angle like that on the dangle. So 
Next step is to, uh, oh, I didn't show you this. So over here, you'll see I've got all those lines capped off like we discussed, including uh, converting to PEX for the hot water, forced hot water baseboard heat lines. And it's important that when you do that, you use the orange stuff, which is the oxygen free for forced uh, hot water systems or hydronic, sy hydronic systems. So we've got that all done. Uh, there's another one capped off of the sewer line there. Uh, all of that stuff, unfortunately, has to be completely redone. I'm gonna hack out all of that because we're moving stuff all over the place. It's gonna suck, um, but you know, do what you gotta do. As it stands now, we are in pretty good shape. So framing is pretty much done. On the left side here, I've got a what will be a little laundry chute there. It'll be a little door that covers that area, and the laundry will drop right into the closet behind it, so it's out of sight. Got some shelving above that. Um, electrical outlets for a lighted wall mirror. Uh, outlets that are over the uh, sink are there. Plumbing's obviously all set. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, you can see where the toilet's going to be down on the floor there. Uh, behind this is something I forgot to show you guys, but instead of doing a typical bathroom fan, 
I got one of these six inch blowers and I'll link in the description. These things are awesome. Um, and what's great about this is you just need a ceiling vent and it's super quiet. You don't have to look at a cheesy plastic vent in the ceiling. You can get a regular metal one. Right there is a small audio amplifier that is uh, set up for the jacuzzi in the shower. Really cool, I'll link that in the description too. That thing was super cheap and pretty powerful for what it is. Um, on this side of the tub, there'll be a little storage area there. Uh, in the front, hold extra toilet paper and things like that. Now we're kind of walking into the shower, so I'm braced for a door here. Um, the faucet setup is right there for the shower. We've got jets on the wall, We've got a shower wand. Um, made sure to put in a 16 inch rainfall shower head above. And um, yeah, these are gonna all be cubbies for holding soaps and my wife's 6,000 bottles of crap. Uh, what else, what else, what else? So behind the jacuzzi will be two in-wall speakers. You can see one of them's hanging out right there temporarily. So that's all pre-wired, ready to go. Obviously you saw the TV going in. That'll be behind a uh, 3 8 piece of plexiglass. Uh, again, another shot of the jets there. Uh, drain in the front. Uh, electrical just about everywhere and then right here is gonna be a really cool backlit mirror and that's uh, that that panel or that that box will not be buried that's gonna be behind the mirror and that's what powers it We've got some z-wave uh, home automation smart switches to control everything there and uh, yeah you can start to see the little bit of a ceiling that I'm putting in that that short section um, but I think that's gonna pretty much do it for right now. So uh, I'm hopefully this will just be like a two installment type of deal uh, My second one hopefully will be tiling and kind of finishing Finishing it off, but um, I may end up having to break it into more than that it depends I try to keep these videos from getting too too long in the tooth here and at 12 minutes That's about my limit So I want to thank you all for watching as always and if you have any questions or want to see anything in particular As I finish off the rest of this bathroom don't hesitate to ask have a great day everybody